Hi everyone. Let's accept our clients love bar charts, but we, hmm, not so much. In today's video, we are going to talk about 10 different types of bar charts that you can create using Tableau and impress your clients. So let's begin with the first one where we'll go ahead and create a simple bar chart. For this, we will be using the sample superstore data. We'll connect to the data click on sample superstore and you will have all the dimensions and the measures that you will need to create this. Pulling the subcategory to the rows and sum of sales to column, you can sort this in a descending order. Format and remove any grid lines. Next you can hide the header and fit this to an entire view. Pull the label converted to percentage of total and hide any decimal points that are additional. You can then pull the sum of sales to color and choose a color of your choice to make the chart look great. And here we have finally a simple bar chart created. Next, we'll create a bullet or a lollipop bar chart. For this, we'll go ahead and duplicate our simple bar chart. Using the sum of sales, we'll create a dual axis chart, synchronize the axis and hide the header. From the first max card, change it to a bar chart, remove the label, and reduce the size to look like a thin line. From the second marks card, increase the size to make this look like a lollipop. Edit some of the colors so that it looks better. Let's go ahead and create our third one, which is a bar with infographics. For this, we'll duplicate the bullet chart and we will need some icons in order to represent each of the subcategories. So we will be using a presentation over here. If you have some icons handy, you can totally ignore this step. But if you don't, please follow along. I'm looking for each of the subcategories in the icons in the presentation. And as soon as I find them, I check it. Once you are able to check each and every icon that you need for the bars on your dashboard, you can simply go ahead and click on insert over here in the bottom corner. Once you click on insert, all the icons would be available. I'm arranging them so that I can see them nice and easy. We will now save all of these icons that we have into our Tableau repository shapes folder which will be available in the documents folder. You can create a new folder under that and make sure that all your icons are available directly inside that particular folder. Once you load all of these, just go and click on shapes and pull the subcategory into your shapes. Then you can assign the palette and click OK. Once you do that, the bars have the icons in the end. I'm just editing a few cosmetic things over here to make sure that the shapes are big enough and are visible and I'm adjusting a few colors and the labels over here so that the bar chart looks great. And finally we have our bars with infograph. The fourth one on the hook is a progress bar chart. Let's go ahead and create this for which we will first pull the subcategory into the row, double click in the column and type min of one and then use a calculated field which I've already created called percentage of maximum and pull this into columns. Now you can make this a dual axis, synchronize the axis and ensure that the axis starts at zero and ends at one. Fit it to an entire view, change this to a bar. Also sort it so that the bigger ones can come on the top and the smaller ones come on the bottom. Let's edit the color and make this look wonderful. You can also alternatively use some color gradients, but I would really prefer using the one without any color gradients. We'll go ahead and do the fifth one, which is the Gantt bar chart. For this, we will just duplicate our bullet chart, increase the size of the bar, and from the automatic, we will change this to a Gantt chart on the second marks card. Now we'll adjust some of the parameters over here like the colors and how the size of each of the bar in the Gantt is so that it fits in properly. And finally, we have our Gantt chart. On the sixth one, which is a bar on bar for comparison, we will be using a stack bar on a bar chart. 
So this is a pretty simple one and I'm sure a lot of you have already known it. So we are using this to do a comparison of sales of 2019 versus sales of 2020 for which I'm creating a few calculated fields as you can see right now on your screen. And I'm going to pull each one of these, the sales of 19 and the sales of 20 into the column shelf. Then make this a dual axis chart, synchronize the axis. Now I'll change this to a bar chart. You can't see both of them because they are overlapping one another. So I'm increasing the size so that you can see the blue pop in from there. Pull the subcategory into the rows and fit this to an entire view so that you can see all the subcategories and their year wise comparison for 2019 and 20. I'm making some aesthetic changes, some cosmetic changes over here, like the color and the size of the bar so that it makes more sense and it's more intuitive. I'm using a two shade of red and green to make sure that anything which has not grown from previous year comes as red and the others comes as green for which we already created the sales percentage change field, right? Adding a few more labels that can help our end customers understand what we have built over here would be a great deal. So here we have our bar on bar chart just removing a few more grid lines to make it look neat. For the seventh one, we have a stacked bar inside a bar chart. For this, let's go ahead and create our sheet. This is a simple one for which you can just pull the sum of sales into the column and subcategory into rows. Sort this in descending order. Now use the order date as color. What this would do is create stacked bars for each of the years that you have in your data right now. I'm adding some labels over here and some percentages so that it is easy for someone to read, changing some colors. And now you have your stacked bar inside a bar chart. Moving on to our eighth one, which is a bar with border. This is a simple concept, but a minimalist one where you can show a bar with just a border without having to fill any colors inside a bar. I'm building a simple bar chart over here and fitting it to an entire view. Hiding the header and making sure all the bars are visible, changing the color of the bar to white and giving it a black border. You see how minimalist and nice this looks. With adding some labels over top of it, we can have a simple bar chart come to life, right? And then I've added a background color to it so that we can distinguish between the bar and the background. Let's go ahead on the next one, which is bar without headers. For this, let's duplicate our progress bar chart and we'll call this as bars without header. From the percentage of maximum, we will align the label to the left and we'll pull the subcategory as well into the label. Now I'm adjusting the label inside of the bar so that we don't need any headers. I've hidden the header and now I'm changing some colors over here to give it a different kind of a view. You see how this turns up without header. Next one which we have on our list is the bar with the rounded ends and I'm sure this would really interest a lot of you. For this one, we'll pull the subcategory into rows and sum of sales into column. I'm creating, creating a min of zero calculated field which we will use. And then all that we have to do is select a line and on the path we will take the measure name and there we have our bars which are rounded. Now all that you have to do over here is adjust some colors, make the size little bigger and fit this to an entire view so it looks nice and simple. Here I'm removing all the grid lines and any additional lines and also hiding the axis. Sorting this into a descending order of sum of sales would give me a nice clean bar chart with rounded ends. You can use the colors of your choice and here you finally have your bar chart. With this, we come to an end of our session where we created 10 different types of bar charts in Tableau today. If you face any difficulties in any of these charts, please feel free to reach out to me on my LinkedIn or do comment on my YouTube channel and I would definitely be there to help you out. 
on the last note if you find this really useful please to subscribe to my channel or like the video thank you so much for watching bye bye take care